Hi, this is Seth Gross, an architect at Argonaut, and in this series of three short videos, we'll be looking at a few demos to show an example of leveraging the power of Salesforce's new revenue lifecycle management suite by demonstrating running a completely non-native UI against the RLM APIs. From a technology perspective, we've chosen to use Angular, Angular Material, and Bootstrap running on Heroku. However, the choice of technologies will vary by implementation. The front-end tech stack will integrate to Salesforce using the Enterprise API and the new RLM APIs to get at its new specialized functions. We will focus on a marketplace scenario where we will have an existing enterprise customer in a self-service role performing various functions related to their product suite. The first demo will focus on product catalog and initial qualification. The second demo will drive us through a purchasing journey where we'll take a look at product setup, execution of pricing, product configuration, and the business rule engine. The final demo will look at various asset lifecycle management functions. Now onto the demo. We will first take a look at Salesforce, where we are using the enterprise product catalog as the source of truth across multiple channels exposed by headless business APIs. Here you can see we have a number of catalogs created dependent on business need or channel. At the catalog level, we are storing information to drive experiences across channels such as descriptions or images. Within a catalog, we have categories to further segment the buying journey. And we can drill into the individual category to see the various products and product related detail that can assist with the omnichannel buying journeys. Now that we've seen the basic catalog setup, I'll move over to the inside sales journey. I've got an opportunity already created and we'll go ahead and create a quote for it to demonstrate how the basic catalog features work within RLM. Now in the quote, we have a similar editor to the quote line editor in Salesforce CPQ, but now have the ability to browse catalogs. After I set my price book, I can see the various catalogs that I have defined for our org and that we saw during setup. I'll select the OmniWave catalog, which then brings up the interface for us to browse. I have the categories in the left pane, which is then used to filter the products in the right hand pane. And you can now see some of the detail that was set up with the base product record. Now over to our alternate channel marketplace demonstration, where we'll start off as an existing user. Up at the top, we have our catalog browser, and we've exposed some 360 degree account management functions that we'll look at in subsequent demos. By clicking on our catalog browser, we can bring back a selected list of marketplace eligible catalogs, along with their detail and UI rendering information. Down below in our current OmniWave catalog, we initially have all the categories laid out on a single page with products being filtered by an RLM qualification procedure, which is based on my account size. We've implemented a filter up top to quickly access the categories. This allows us to get to the products and the product detail that we would like to see. By clicking on the View Specs button, we are able to access Salesforce managed marketing material to further help clarify the value proposition. This concludes our demo today, where we saw how a catalog was set up in Salesforce, used in the standard sales UI, and ultimately exposed to a custom marketplace journey by utilizing Salesforce's revenue lifecycle management APIs. In the next demo, we'll see how a product is set up, priced, and configured while executing business rules across both user journeys. For further questions and inquiries, please contact Salesforce at Argonaut.com. Thank you.